Hello, everyone. All right, let's make sure we have everything. I want to make sure. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Ooh. So I'm doing two lives right now, Instagram and YouTube. Here we go. Bear with me. We're going to manage this. Here we go. And look at how pretty my flowers are in there. Good morning, we're back. Hi. So part two, guys, we chilled the dough. You saw part one earlier today. Um, I have YouTube going on and Instagram, so I won't answer you directly if you have questions, but I will un answer you during the feed so you guys will get the whole thing going on. All right, so part one was our Cinnabon, not Cinnabon, but we made our dough out of pumpkin and spices. So we added pumpkin spice to it, pumpkin puree, and pumpkin pie spice, and cinnamon. Now we're gonna roll it out. We refrigerated it for a while, just so it can hold itself, stay together and firm while we roll it, add our fillings, then we're gonna put it in our pan, whatever pan you like. I'm gonna pick this one because it's gonna need room to grow. It'll rise again. And then we're gonna do the filling. Then we're gonna let it sit before we stick it in the oven. It has to sit a good half an hour, if not more. I'm gonna let mine actually sit for a while because today <clears throat> we have a special birthday and I'm gonna stick it on the oven when we get home. My son's birthday is today, so I'm gonna make this for him. He's going through, mom, I don't wanna eat any sugar. He's becoming a big boy. So we're making this yummy cake for him. He doesn't want store-bought cakes because now all my paranoia has set in to him. He's taking it in, he's like, oh my God, I don't know what's in that cake, I'm not gonna eat it. So. Hello everyone, welcome. This dough has been refrigerated for about a half an hour. It's nice and cool, but it's still quite soft, as you see. And so I'm gonna roll it out. I will cut it. It's easier to cut it in half. You don't want it to be too big. Easier to cut it. One of you DM'd me last night on Instagram. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. If you're on my Instagram, having been to my YouTube channel, get on YouTube, I'm putting the recipes there. It's in Sarah's kitchen. And uh, somebody DM me last night that they made the dough, it turned out great, the Cinnabons were great. Of course it's great, it's foolproof. You can manage, it's not rocket science, people. You can do this, believe me. Uh, and um, she said, oh my gosh, but I forgot to cut it. It was so big and my cutting board would not, was not big enough to serve its purposes. Well, listen, clean your counter really well and just do it on the counter if you want. I actually prefer to do it on the counter because then the cutting board doesn't move. As you'll see, mine will do that. Now, not too much flour, everyone. It'll make your dough harder and it will prevent it from rising this very last step. So roll it out nice and thin, okay? Look how thin this is getting. And that's another reason why you refrigerate it because you want to be able to roll it out thin where it will not stick to your counter. You can lift it, you can flip it over, and work with it. If this was room temperature, right as I had finished popping it up and putting it into its second ball of dough, if I had started working with it, which I have before, you've seen me do it, it sticks to the counter, it's not manageable, it's quite, quite difficult to get it to listen to you, as I like to say. This is my kitchen is where things should listen to me. Sometimes they don't, and guess what? We just roll with the punches. So trial and error is the best part of any kitchen and home. Just don't get scared. I get so much from you guys. I love to cook, I don't bake. What does that even mean? 
Baking is like cooking. Get in the kitchen and bake. It, it's, they're not separate from each other. They are really not. That's just an old wives tale we've been told before. I bake, I don't cook. It's all the same. Get in the kitchen, bake. It takes a little longer. It's a little bit more precise, I feel. But you know what? It gives you such joy. Your home, your kids, your loved ones, friends, family. All right, so this is ready. It's quite thin. Look it. It's really thin. And so what I'm going to do now is run my finger over it and get all that excess flour off. You see that? I'm just, I don't need to brush it with a brush. There it goes. It's off. Now I'm going to flip it and make sure the bottom's not sticking. You don't need to just gonna get that off also and make sure it's not sticking. For when I roll it up, I want it to listen to me. Both sides. It's so simple. All right, I'm gonna take the butter. I have room temperature, it's soft. It is so soft, I'm just gonna take it with my finger and I'm gonna rub it over, all right? I have half of one stick in here. And you know what? When it becomes soft and you do it with your finger, you can also melt it and make a goo and spread it all over. I kind of like it like this because it's not perfect. One bite is sweeter, one bite has less, one bite has more. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be rustic and homemade. Even the top-notch restaurants are nowadays making things less fancy schmancy, more rustic and homemade. So get yourselves in the kitchen and start baking. If it goes wrong, throw it away or make the best of it. You know, there have been times where I've made, my butter wasn't soft enough, by the way. I left it out this morning. If it was sitting out from last night, um, it would have been perfect. But I have been try and kind of maneuver, even with your mistakes. If something goes wrong, if it's a little tougher, if it, you forgot sugar, I don't know. Just kind of wing it. What does that mean? You know what? Make a really yummy frosting, pour it all over, everyone will eat it. Make cream cheese frosting. Um, my cream cheese trees blah, blah, blah. frosting is so simple i just take some frosting some frost some cream cheese soft room temperature cream cheese i put it in a cup i take a big fork i mush it around a little i add some depending on the amount of cream cheese you have go a little bit at a time is better than putting a whole bunch in there uh powder sugar and maybe a tablespoon of heavy cream, and I just whip it and it becomes soft and you just drizzle it over right out of the oven. Most of the time I don't do frosting, but right out of the oven when it's hot, you don't have to even make it too runny. It'll just goo all over. The kids would love it. All right, this is the end of my can. I'm just gonna scrape it down. My pumpkin puree, this is my filling for my pumpkin spice rolls. Now this dough, this video is part two on YouTube and if you guys are on Instagram watching me, get on YouTube and watch it or there was a live right before this one. That was the dough that I made. That dough needs to go through two different rises just like our cinnamon, regular Cinnabon dough. Uh, just like every dough we've made for our for our other rolls, my hand has butter all over it, and I'm not gonna wipe it. I'm gonna put it right back on my cinnamon. Cinnamon. Now look at that. You're gonna scrape this over. This dough already has pumpkin and spices in it. If you want it really gooey, go for it. Put more. I only put about two tablespoons on there. 
I always wipe my spatula or spoon down and get that right back on there as well because I hate to waste. Get it all over. I don't believe you need to keep the edges blank. No, scrape it all the way through. Oh, this is so good. It smells divine. Now I'm going to take, this was the best buy I ever made. My best purchase, pumpkin pie spice. All right, it's gonna come out a lot, it was brand new. You can make it at home from scratch, but you know what? I'm baking all the time. This just expedites it for me. And you know what? I like to make the world go round. I support the community. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna put some cinnamon over that because everything is better with more cinnamon. The pumpkin pie spice and the cinnamon is already in the dough. All right, here we go. Just kind of get it all over. Does it feel like I'm rushing? I have to pick up my daughter at 12. So I wanna get this out. It smells so good, so good, so good, so good. All right, brown sugar. Yes. The dough only has about two tablespoons. God, and I'm losing my eyesight. I don't even know if I saw something or it was just a shadow. So brown sugar, a quarter cup. That's all I'm putting in this. Remember, this dough is half of our dough. I cut it in half so I can work with it. This is not the entire dough. If you put just this much in your dough, it's gonna come out really dry. Here we go. So yes, as I was telling you guys, the birthday boy has three tests tomorrow. He has a little cold, head cold. He's He's a big man. He's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sick. I gotta go to school. It's my birthday. This sucks. So yes, he's becoming mature little man for me at the age of 16. All right, there it is. Tap it in. You don't have to tap it in. Now I'm going to roll it and then we're going to cut it and I'm going to roll it from this side up. Nope. I'm gonna roll it from this side up. Yes. Here it is, really simple. Just roll it up. Just roll, roll, roll. My Instagram friends are so sweet. They're all just watching, no one's talking to me because I'm doing YouTube Live and Instagram. You know, I keep hashtagging real kitchen, real life, real cooking because I cook for you guys based on my schedule. I'm running around with the kids. Um, it's not a studio. This is not work for me. I'm taking the butter and I'm going in the bottom of my pan. You can use baking spray, which I have before. You've seen me do it, but I have this butter and I'm gonna get it in here. Ah, here we go. All the corners. This is one of my favorite pans, my spring pans. They kind of pop open. I found it on Amazon. You just kind of pop it open. It's a square one. I have a heart shape. I have a round shape. It's really good for making your rolls in there. Now, if you wanna use your spray, I'm not gonna stop you, I've used it before. Who are we kidding? There are times when your butter is not room temperature or you've used it all, use your spray. Okay, ready, easy peasy. Cut your rolls just like that, like a little sausage and stick it, start right in the middle. I like to start right in the middle. About an inch and a half. Whatever width you like, don't go too wide. You're gonna scatter this in the bottom. Just kind of put them together. You don't wanna make them too tight. This will grow. This will rise again. When I say grow, I mean it'll rise. So it'll expand a little. You wanna give it a little wiggling room. This is half of our dough. 
I wonder if Paz was watching. She wanted to make this and she kept, so many of you keep asking me questions. I keep doing this over and over again. This might be faster. Just cut it and stick them all in the pan. Here's the pan. You guys all see. I'm just gonna scatter this in here. Not too close, not too tight. That way they'll have room to move. And I like to put the baby, baby ones all the way in the corner. Nobody puts the baby in the corner, but in the kitchen. We put it in the corner. All right, I'm gonna roll my other one out for you guys. I still have time. Ooh, I'm really, no, I don't have time. I won't make it. Um, Ara, I'm going to need help. I will make it. Never say never. This is the other half of the roll. This was one recipe. That's part one that you guys saw or the earlier live today. I'm going to roll this out. Ben, por favor. I'm going to need help with my other pumpkin puree. Usually I make my own, but... I just got my pumpkins and I don't want to cook them yet. I'm going to get some more smaller ones. All right, so roll this out, the whole process all over again. Now what I'm going to do this time, I want to show you guys so you have another option, is I'm going to melt the butter only because this one is really hard. I put it out a little while ago. Ara! Ben, por favor! I keep saying come. No one's listening to me. All right. And she keeps saying something. I can't hear her from here. All right, remember, you're gonna check and make sure it doesn't stick. Nope, it's not coming. I'm gonna have to do it myself. pumpkin puree it's not pumpkin pie be careful sometimes you have pumpkin pie filling that already comes sweeter and <clears throat> seasoned so be careful what you're using ay mamma mia ben nope she's talking like we're having a conversation Okay, I'm gonna melt the butter this time because I wanna show you guys. What to do, what to do, what to do. Here we go. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Spread it over. My rush is I have to pick up my daughter. Otherwise, I have all day to hang out with you guys. You hear the butter melting. The minute you hear it sizzle, you just turn it off and it'll become perfect. There we go. No, no mas. No mas. No. Yo hablo tú, yo tú no aquí, no más. No más. Okay. Now, we're going to put the spices in here. The cinnamon. Okay. Pumpkin pie spice. That's my melted butter. And I'm going to show you guys, here's another option you can do. 
Let's not put that spoon in there. I'm gonna add my sugar into the melted butter and that'll thicken it up for you. Make it a thicker consistency. And then you just fold it in, pour it over, add it to your pan, and you let it rise for another half an hour at least. I made it for my, um, <clears throat> my niece's wedding the day after we went over and I made it and it was, it took about, I think 45 minutes before I went from point one to the oven, point A to B. Oh my goodness, it rose, it became huge. It becomes so much more fluffy. Here we go. I wonder, I'm doing two lives. This is it. Now this batch is with melted butter, just as well. Might be actually a little bit more convenient this way. Okay, I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna pop it over. Here we go. Get the flour off and roll it. As you come up, you see flour in the bottom. You're gonna need that flour there so it doesn't stick to your counter. Just use your finger and brush it off. There we go. Now you could do any toppings in here if you want. You could add uh, pecans, pecans, pecan, pecans, um, walnuts, chocolate. I have a whole other dough. This dough was from two nights ago. I have another dough that I made earlier today on my live. Look at that. And just be quick with it. Just pop it in there. Oh my gosh. I cannot reiterate how good it smells in here. I just can't. But I wanna get this all going in here for you guys. All right. I see, I'm speaking Spanish to you now. My brain, one of these days I'll speak Farsi. My brain's just all over the place. Now I can tell you the batch that I melted the butter is, also the dough was sitting out longer. It's a little bit more gooey, that's fine. Look, I got some on my counter. That one batch went all the way, filled up the dish all the way. There it is. You see that? Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it sit right on the counter, cover it with the towel, dish towel, make sure it's big enough so it doesn't fall on top. And you're just gonna let this sit for a half an hour, up to an hour and a half, two hours, whenever you can get to it, get to it. You put it in the oven, you're gonna bake it at 350 for about 45 to 55 minutes. It'll, it'll slowly bake. You don't wanna fast forward it, you don't wanna rush it, you'll burn the bottom because all that sugar is gonna melt and go in the bottom. This'll be spectacular. Please bake it, let me know, tag me, DM me, email me on YouTube if you're new or if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and you will get notifications when I post new videos. I made a deal, I'm gonna make something pumpkin-y every day till Thanksgiving. I'm also, I was going to make another deal. I told you guys I had a challenge for myself. You know, you get caught up with filling up your refrigerator and freezer. I'm gonna use everything in there and clear it out and start buying fresh ingredients again. So cheers to you guys. Um, give me thumbs up if you have questions, go ahead and ask me. Don't forget to, if you have, you don't like it, that's fine, let me know. Love you guys, I'm glad you watched. Happy Wednesday, I have to go pick up my kids and deal with real life, real kitchen. 
Thank you for joining. I hope this works out and let me know. Bye everyone.